I have cheesy tortellini, bolognese, and Italian sausage. I do believe it's time for Top Jimmy to cook once again. Now you guys know we always start with the best ingredients and the freshest. So what I have right here is, let's run through there. How about some of that Italian sausage? And that's the mild version. You can use hot if you want to, made by my local grocery store. Let's move right over here. That's fresh Parmigiano Romano. And don't forget about the cheesy tortellini, people. That's 24 ounces of it. Look at that. Isn't that great? Absolutely can't wait. Right over there, we have a full cup of shredded mozzarella. Kind of a rough chop on there. I'm going to show you guys my seasonings, too. As you know, there it is. Chef Paul Perdome's Pizza and Pasta Magic. That is my favorite for Italian. Anything. It's just wonderful. My olive oil there. And, of course, as we go to Ninja Never Stick here in just a moment, you don't need any oil. But we will use it because it's authentic. It's Italian, you know. Rayo's, the greatest bolognese sauce I've ever used and the greatest Italian restaurant. You guys have probably heard of it. It's legendary in New York City and also Las Vegas. Some people might say, for this dish, you want bolognese? Yeah, because I'm, I'm cooking it. Speaking of, the world's greatest cookware, Ninja Never Stick. There is the three quart saute pan. You can put a top on it, you don't have to. And right over there is the Ninja Stock Pot. Already got some olive oil and some salt in there. Cooking our pasta. You guys ready to start cooking? Here we go. As you guys may know, the Ninja Never Stick, the greatest cookware of all time. By the way, you Ninja guys haven't talked to me yet. Come on now, y'all gotta get it together. I've been in touch. All right, you always preheat your pan, and this one's been preheating about five minutes, and in is going to go the Italian sausage. Listen to the sizzle. Ooh, there it is. Absolutely. Sounding really, really good. We're gonna get this broken up. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna cook it all the way through. Already smelling good in here. And once I get it uh, broken up just a touch like this, I'll actually move it here into the beginning. And I, I hit it with the Italian seasoning, which is our Chef Paul Perdome. This is really good stuff. I've always enjoyed this stuff. You guys give that a try if you can. And then we're going to work that around. I, oh, oh, that seasoning. Wow, it just comes right out when it hits that meat. And it really enhances that flavor. Let's cook this down until it browns off. Ninja Never Stick Technology. Woo! <clears throat> Look how I've cooked that down. Oh, wish you guys could smell it. So good. We add some pasta. <clears throat> How about we get our tortellini started? What do you think of that? I think we should. And now, look at that. Wonderful. And like I said, a little olive oil is already in there. Some salt. And in is going to go our cheesy tortellini. We're going to drop it all in there. Get that cooking. Wow. Going to be really, really good. Here we go. Never stick. Never stick. I'm telling you, Ninja's going to talk to me one of these days, kids. Look at that. And see how there's not a lot of grease or fat. And of course, with Ninja Never Stick Technology, this is the result of your Italian sausage being cooked. So when it comes to this point, in goes that beautiful bolognese. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look what I'm doing. Oh, I wish I had that on slow-mo. It's just perfect. Get this stirred in. Wow. I mean, now that, come on, guys. You, I mean, you gotta. Oh. I mean, you could just eat this. Or you could pour it all over yourself and dance naked. <laughs> Are you ready for a big reveal after my little joke? Check it out. There's your tortellini. All you have to do is leave it in there until it's tender, and it is. So we're gonna drain it, and in it goes to our mixture, which just happens to be right there. Oh, come on now, you got you got to admit, that looks great. Are you ready to add that tortellini, guys? Here it comes. I drained it out, and we're going to put almost all of it in there. Are we going to put it all the way to the top? What do you think? Is that enough? Yeah. Oh, by the way, look what else I also have. A ninja serving spoon. That's right, Ninja Kitchen. 
I'm still messing with you guys. So what I'm going to do is kind of fold this in best I can. You don't want to spill too much. You want to mix it in pretty good like this. I'm not going to toss it. I, I tried that the last time I made this dish and some of it went on the floor and that's just not a good idea at all. So let's do this. Then we're going to come back and add our cheeses. Mamma mia, ah, it's Italian, you know, hey, I'm Italian. All right, guys, that's what it's supposed to look like. Now, we're gonna get our cheeses. Remember our cheeses? We got a lot of moths we're gonna put on top. Gonna sprinkle it as evenly as you can. And it goes right there. How about our Parmesan right now? I kinda like to do this in layers. I do this all the time. Our Parmesan goes in. I'm gonna use it all. One full cup, there you go. <clears throat> How about some of the shake? And then we're gonna get some more moths around these edges. I want it everywhere. Hey, if I don't have enough, I'll go dig out some more. Just... Sounds great, looks great. <clears throat> Here goes your moths. I'm gonna show you guys another little trick. Before it goes in the oven, my oven is preheated on low broil, okay? There you go, moths in. It looks all right. And a little bit more of the pizza and pasta magic. See that? There's my seasoning. We're gonna go right here just across the top. I always do this. Makes it look great when it comes out of the oven. Low broil, and remember guys, Ninja Never Stick right here, you see this? Oven safe to 500 degrees. That's why it is the greatest cookware of all time. Let's go in the oven. And through the magic of time, which means almost 24 hours later, you're going to get the joke. Look at this, guys. Look at that. In the oven, just a little bit of broil. Melted your cheese down really, really good. Oh, and we're going to let this sit so it can kind of set itself up, as I like to say. Just a few minutes, then we're going to come back and start eating. Well, what do you guys say? Should we use our ninja spoon? and get some from right here. Let's see what it looks like. With the cheese melted and everything, get a big honking spoonful like that. There you go. Right over here on the plate. You know, my friend Kimberly gets on my case. You should use a white plate for contrast. She's actually right. Kimberly, this is for you. Also for Josh and Shelly, who I, you know, I made them mad because I told them I was cooking this. Now you guys get to actually watch it. How about a little more for you? Looking good there, guys. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Are you guys ready to eat? I do believe that will do it right there. Cheesy tortellini Italian sausage. That bolognese. Great looking right there. My goodness. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. Please make sure you like. Hey, maybe subscribe. You won't miss anything that we're going to be cooking again soon. Time for me to eat cheesy tortellini with some homemade bolognese and Italian sausage. Going to see you right here next time.